Welcome to episode six of my big walks. This is the second one of my Peak District walks using the Collins Rambler's Guide to the Peak District. This is walk number two um, in the Peak District and we'll have a chat in a second about what the walk says in terms of difficulty and how far. But I'm just leaving behind me uh, the little village of Hartington beautiful little village and we're just heading off up into the hills of the Peak District and I'm not out on my own today I'm out with my family Mrs Bushcraft Dave's out with us and the Bushcraft children there's one of them just there no stove brought out with me today we've made up a little picnic that we'll have later but ultimately we're out for a stroll and the walk itself in the book is called Pillsbury Castle so at some point in the walk hopefully we should also see the ruins of Pillsbury, Ca Pillsbury Castle catch you in a bit so I was so busy doing my first piece to camera totally messed up the direction straight away family had already walked part of the way up a hill and I wasn't paying attention so when you park up at Hartington for this this walk and where there's a little lake a little pond in the village um, you head up from that up a place called Dig Street Dig Lane now before you get to a sign that says Hartington leading you up a, over a cattle grid before you get there turn right up a little track I didn't see it, I wasn't paying attention, but hey ho, lesson learned. Alright, so let's have a talk about this walk then. So walk number two from this Peak District Rambler's Guide and it's called Pillsbury Castle Walk. It calls itself a level three difficulty, which means that it should be more difficult than the one that I did last time out, the Dovedale Walk. So it should be more difficult than that. According to this, it is a five and a half mile walk, uh, which I think is pretty accurate from when I did a bit of a route planner online just to sort of check that all the routes were public right away and stuff like that um, and yeah it reckons approximately three hours I'm guessing because I got my kids with me today they're probably going a bit slower it probably will take three hours but it's whilst it is absolutely glorious sunshine it's just the the day after we'd had some snow so there is a bit of a chill in the air some cows in the field There was two routes that we could have gone down and one of the routes would have taken us past that field of cows which I'm, I know my wife and kids aren't too keen on. So we ended up not taking the route that says Bank Top Farm. If you follow the public footpath sign that says um, to Pillsbury, that's the one that we're going to be following. Let's see what happens next.
Salisbury Castle. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the sign. Be. Can you see the big rock that we saw as oh, we came yeah. in? Yeah. That, That's big, that. that big rock is not actually part of the castle. Like, and it used to be like that. Yeah. And where's the main sort of defensive bit? Like this. In the middle. Very good. Well, we stopped to have a bite to eat, a little picnic at Pillsbury Castle. Wind started to pick up, got a bit cold. It's getting a bit better now. We had a nice walk to get there. It took us about, I think it was about three miles to get there, just under three miles to get back. But the scenery is pretty cool. The family, Mrs. Bushcraft Dave, and Bushcraft Dave Jr. Jr. and Jr. Um, that was a good little bit of a meal. The girls had some that we cooked up at home. We had some falafels, tzatziki, hummus that we made at home last night. So it wasn't a cookout this time. I'm going to cook next time I'm out. I've got a really big walk to do next time. How are we doing? Good. Have you enjoyed the walk so far? Yeah. You know you're lying. That you hated every minute of it. <laughs> Have you enjoyed the work, girls? Yeah, there's a tiny little thumbs up there from the little one. It looks like what? It does, it's beautiful. This looks like a bit fun to explore. Well, thanks everybody for joining me, Bushcraft Dave and my family, Mrs. Bushcraft Dave, Bushcraft Junior and Bushcraft Junior Junior. It's been an absolutely fantastic walk, walk number two of the Peak District Rambler's Guide walks to Pillsbury Castle. Um, just enjoying walking through this wood as we approach Hartington where we started our journey Hopefully You'll join me on my next Peak District adventure. I'm gonna head out with um, Mrs. Bushcraft Dave Next week once the kids have gone back to school and we're gonna go and tackle an 8.66 mile route probably the biggest one I've done so far I think something like that and the route itself is called the Three Peaks of the Dove. Um, or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Something like that. But it's going to be a big one. Definitely going to cook something while we're out. So, whilst I've got some ideas, if any of you have got any ideas of things you'd like to see me cooking out on my next walk, um, let me know. I think I will have a bit of a go. Maybe that's something one of my subscribers has, pre has messaged me about. So. Um, keep a look out for that you might be seeing that on my next travels and it'll be it'll certainly be a good one if you like the video give it a like if you've been watching all my videos so far make sure you've clicked that subscribe button it doesn't cost you a penny click that subscribe button um, so that you can join me on the next adventure it'll let you know when it's coming you know the drill click them buttons and I'll see you in the next one bushcraft Dave out I dropped, Dave I dropped out. my stick. What's that, Mrs. Bushcraft Dave? Bushcraft Dave out. He thinks he's cool.
Mrs. Bushcraft Dave's not impressed. See you in the next one, guys. Filming this because it's into us, though.